Hello YouTube, this is the much requested um, tutorial video for my LEGO RC drifting and racing car. And if you haven't seen the original video, I highly recommend checking that out because you can see um, bigger performance of this vehicle and stuff like that. But for now, I'll just show you guys a 360 view and a basic overview of the features. So let me turn on my turntable. As you can see, it has a full body and it looks pretty awesome. And then I'll let that come to a stop. Now I'll remove this out of the way. And show you guys the other features this car has. So it has a rechargeable battery box, which is up to you. You can use a AAA battery box or a rechargeable. I put a version 2 receiver in there. A XL motor in the bottom for drive and a M motor for steering. And the steering is returned to center, which I will show you right now. So if you turn it on, it has return to center. Oh, let me change the channel. Sorry about that. And then if you lift up the back, it has some drive. So these are the racing tires because they have grip and are actually bigger. And you can even apply bigger tires if you adjust the body, which is also pretty cool. And then you have these drifting tires, which I have a spacer in there, and at the end I'll show you how to apply these when we build it. So these have tape around them for drifting capabilities, and it works quite well. You'll have to check out my original video to see that on the full scale. So it has the return to center steering, the drive, and a full custom body. It also has small features like this. You can remove the battery box easily and... If you have a rechargeable, just charge it back up. So that's pretty much it. I'll turn that off. And for the features, so now let's get to building it.
Hey guys, now I'm just going to finish off the tutorial with a few little things that are easier to show in a video. So first thing being the wiring. So I wired the receiver with yellow. So the receiver is yellow and I put it through this gap right here and then wired it down into here. So that's how the receiver is wired and then the wires for the motors go up into here and the XL motor is red and this is blue. So the XL motor is red and then the M motor is blue. And then a minor error in the tutorial is this part should be connected with a peg on both sides. So that should be a peg like it is over here. So just how I have it here. You may want to correct that because it should not be that. So this has got to be a peg because otherwise it will interfere with the racing tires. So the racing tires are 49.6 by 28 Lego tires. And you put those on like so. No spacer. And then the drifting tires, which are Lego... 20 by 30 tires, you need a spacer, and then you apply the tire like so, and the racing tire would get interference right in there. So that's why I did that, and then for the front tire, to apply the 20 by 30, you want to angle it and hold right there. And then apply the tire. Sorry about that, an epic fail right there. But basically you want to do that because otherwise it will just push this in and you'll just you'll be able to pull the tire out. So that's pretty much it for the end little video. Hopefully you guys could follow and enjoy that tutorial. That's pretty much it. If you have any problems, questions, or concerns, just leave them in the comments below, and I'll be sure to answer them the best I can. So thanks for watching, and don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe. I highly recommend checking out the original video for this, and as always, all my other videos on my channel. So that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching, and let me know what you guys think of this creation. Bye.